Hello everyone, today I'll be showing you a very important feature of blocks in Revit, how they are created and how to avoid a common error that happens when generating a form. I got this error the other day as I was preparing this feature video where I will be showing you how to model organic interiors that basically look like this. This is the uh, Dates BS headquarters and I'll be showing you how to model these forms in an interior set that is a lot more complex than uh, an usual exterior form because this is made of multiple interconnected forms and voids that make it quite more complex. Anyway, what I'll be showing you will be how to do this form made of three simple profile lines. I'll isolate this, select the form and dissolve it. And if I select three lines and create form, I'll get this warning enable to create form element. If I select these reference points, give them an offset and create form, I get this unexpected form. If I select face and divide the surface, I have a fixed distance in 10 meters. I'll see that the beginning of the surface is at the bottom left. So if I go back, change the offset of the other line to be above, and I locked it again. I'll see that it goes to lock the other way around. So I do the same to check where the beginning is. And I'll see that the beginning is now on the right. Once again, go back and rearrange the height of the lines to make the middle one the lower one. And the lock again will do a different twist. And if I check the beginning, by dividing the spline again. So change the justification to beginning. I'll see that the beginning is in the middle line. So a lot is a form created by a line that follows a path or a direction. And this path has a start and an end. And as we've seen, it always starts at the line with the lowest C value. When two of these lines are at zero, it doesn't know where to start and it fails. It gives you the warning. When all these lines are at zero, we'll still create a lot and you can just modify the, the middle one later. You can also adjust the lines in order to create the direction that you want it to do and uh, change back later so then if the lines are vertical they'll all have the same z value varying only in x and y you'll see that a similar behavior occurs but this surface always starts south for instance, if you try to create the lot with these three lines, you will get a warning because they actually have the same y value in this case. If you want to create a lot around like this, uh, you'll have to adjust the lines, move them around until you get the direction that you intend, create the lot, and then just move them one by one back to the position that you need I hope that this will help you uh, avoiding errors and have a control over what the loss is doing. So thank you for watching and see you next time.